Hello everyone, welcome to Papa's Workshop. And today I want to answer one of the biggest questions that I see all the time on the forum, in the emails that I get, and on the comments. And that is, when I'm engraving a larger item, how do I raise up the laser? Where do I get the feet or the extensions to be able to raise it up? Well, in keeping with the KISS principle, I'm going to show you several really, really easy ways to do it. Plus, I'm going to give you the answer as to where to get it. <laughs> it's right there in your shop, guys. It is your own laser to be able to cut them out. On my 4040 XE by Fox Alien, I have the roller attachment uh, on here, and I needed to be able to raise up the machine. And you can see all I have is some scrap wood there raising it up just enough so that I can put the object on the rotary roller and be able to do the engraving. No fancy feet required. Here is another setup that I use quite often when I need to engrave a large item. Nothing more than paint cans. You get four of them. In this case, this is a one gallon can. I can raise it up and now I can put a rather large object underneath here to be able to engrave. Remember, keep it simple. Use that KISS principle any time that you can to be able to make your project easy and fast to be able to complete. Recently, I made a couple of boxes in the shop and I want to be able to engrave on them. Well, I needed to be able to have my one gallon can plus a quart can to get it up high enough to be able to engrave on this box. And with the one gallon can and the quart can, that made it perfect. Then I could just go ahead and do the final setup with the laser, and now I'm ready to be able to engrave. I want to give you one more example now where we can actually make feet to be able to go on to this. Now this is a Fox Alien uh, riser machine, and these are 20 millimeters apart. So what I'm going to do is show you very quickly how to design in Lightburn the feet that you can use to be able to add to your laser. And this can be done on any of the different lasers that you have. I'm going to start with a opening up the Lightburn software and to be able to create this foot for the laser, I'm going to come over to the rectangle box and we're just going to make a rectangle. Now what size should we make this? On the Fox Alien 4040, the width of that is about um, 45 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And then as far as the height, you can make this any height that you want. I'm just going to go right now at about, well, let's see here. It's set in here at 145. I'll just leave it at that for right now. So that's going to be the basic shape that we're going to work with. Now let's go ahead and click on this. We'll move it up so we have a larger image to be able to work with. Now, for this to be able to work, you have to be able to slide it into those screws. So I'm going to come over and create another rectangle. And because this is 45, I think I'm going to make this about 20 millimeters wide. And as far as the height of this, all I really need is it to be able to accommodate the screw. So I'm going to go ahead and make it about seven millimeters. And that will give me the uh, measurement that I need. For my purpose, I'm only going to make four of these. But you can, again, make this as long as you wish. And you can make as many slots as you wish. So I'm just going to highlight this. Hit Control C and Control V. And that gives me a second one. All right, so I'm going to play with this to begin with. So let's go over and let's just bring it over to where we need to have it. And let's just say we're going to start right about here. And I am going to go ahead and rotate this down. And we can rotate this down about 10 degrees. And I think that will be good. So that way it'll be able to slide in there. It's not going to come out and you'll be able to tighten the screw right there. Now I want to make it easier to be able to place these others in here. I'm going to put this as at exactly on the X axis at 250. I will just make it at 540. 
All right, that'll be good for now. For this next one, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit Control C and Control V so I have a second one right here to be able to work with. We're gonna move that over here. Now, where do I want it? So this one needs to be on the X axis at the 250 and it needs to be at the 20 millimeters less. And we started out at 540. So we need to have this at the 520 and I need to have this rotated at the 20 degrees or 10 degrees. And then we'll do the same thing again. I'm going to hit control C and control V and that will give me another one. And I'll go ahead and make this at the 10 degrees right now. And I'll go ahead and put this one in at the 250. And then I need to be at 500. And there we go. The next one, we'll rotate it again at the 10 degrees. And to place it into position, we'll make this at 250 and 480. And there we go. Now we have all four of our slots, but this still is not really complete. What I want to be able to do is make this actually a slot and get rid of this. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just highlight the overall rectangle, hold the shift key down, click on this. Then I'm gonna come over here to this weld function right here, and I'm going to click on that. And you can see what it does. It erases this and creates that little pocket in there that will receive that screw. Now I'm gonna do the same thing again. The interesting thing is you can only select one at a time. So I selected the big rectangle, select the little rectangle and come over and do the same thing again. Now let's repeat this process two more times and we will have our slots. And this doesn't take long to do guys and you don't have to order it from someplace else. You don't have to download a file that you're not familiar with. And that is going to give you your um, ex leg extension right there. Now let's make it pretty. Well, let's go ahead and highlight this and let's come down here and put a radius on it. And the radius that's uh, defaulted right here is five uh, millimeters. I think that's going to be fine. So let's just go up here, we'll click on that. We'll click that right there. And there we go, that rounds the top of it off. I think that'll look good. So there's that part. Now then, I think I wanna be able to taper the leg. So I'm gonna come over here to the pen tool and I'm just gonna come right here, drag this down to about there. We'll escape out of that. So now I have this line. Okay, the next thing I want to do is be able to get rid of this. So this actually tapers. So in that case, I'm going to come over. I don't need this highlighted yet. Let's just leave it like this. And I'm going to come over to my node edit menu. And we'll highlight this now. And we have all the nodes selected. And I'm going to come over and highlight over this item right here. And I'm going to hit T for trim, and that eliminates that portion. Come back over to my select tool, and that has everything done. Now, you notice this is not part of it, so I'm going to highlight everything. And then I'm going to come up here to the um, group selection. This is ungroup. This is group, and I'll put it together. And now we have one item. So that's just how quick that you can make the feet. And again, you can make this any width that you want, any number of slots that you want, and um, any height. So this is an easy, very easy way to be able to do your feet. If you don't like my paint can method and my uh, scrap wood method. Okay, everyone, that's four methods to be able to raise up the laser. And I bet you can think of some more. Thank you for watching this really short video today. All I really wanted to be able to accomplish is answering this nagging question that so many people have had. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And by the way, while you're there, 
go ahead and hit that little subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified on the different videos. I've got a lot of different videos planned. You're not going to want to miss out. So please go ahead and subscribe now. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the upcoming videos, whatever that may be. So bye-bye now.